and we are back. It's still your mid-morning show. You have missed an interesting conversation with Sam Adeleke talking about the delicious meals of Akwai Bom and, of course, history and uh, the slavery, the naming of Nigeria, which is kind of like almost now UER. <laughs> and talking about Quincy being hungry as well, all these meals. Why is your hand on your tummy, though? This is life. <laughs> all right, so we have another amazing guest who is a thespian. The creativity is not to you know compare with any and he's done a lot in the industry as well hails from Ogun state and he, he has a lot of things to talk about especially where we come or talk about tourism and the entertainment part of tourism ladies and gentlemen let's welcome alex osho is it osho or osho 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 oh <laughs> i tried welcome you to so you you're you're, you're um you're from Ogun State. Yes, yeah. please. And, and also Edo State. Edo State, yes, please. So which part is which? The dad from uh, Ogun State? Long story, man. Long, very long story. Very long story, okay. man. Okay. okay, but um, I mean, um, you, have one of the, you have one of the biggest events at Freedom Park. Oh, yes. Um, every year, called yeah. Alex, Alex oh, Oshosha. Yeah. Yeah. Um, your new project now is centered around entertainment and tourism. Exactly. Um, what drove you to that? What drove you to this part? Because it's very weird for people to, you know, delve into such parts. But uh, what drove you to this conclusion or this uh, new project? And how's it going so far? Okay. So the truth is, 2020 drove me into the into the project. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, over the years, it's been me putting up concerts. And trust me, I've had the big wigs come on that show. Yeah. But in 2020, everything just, you know, I, I, I need not talk yeah, too much. Definitely. You know what happened. So I said to myself, entertainment needs to move. And one of the greatest things Nigeria has sold out is our music, mm. our culture, Afro pop, our costumes, and all that. So why don't I just take people on tour across the country and across Africa? I'm not looking at the European countries right now, I'm looking mm. at Ghana. I'm looking at Tanzania, I'm looking at Kenya. We've not visited Africa enough. Yes. We've not, pro yeah. we've not yes. promoted Africa enough. Yes. We've not visited Nigeria enough. I can bet you that if you ask 50 Nigerians, have you been to four states in Nigeria? They'll tell you they haven't been to four states. You're trying to calculate. Cal 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 I've been to more than four. Hey, <laughs> ah, hallelujah. So you've tried. <laughs> you get, We're going to see a short I've been to, right I've been about now. We'll continue with this conversation. Right, yeah. Yeah. So let's quickly watch this. With all this white hair that is, that is already that is already finding its way out of my body. <laughs> ah, chief. So, we'll do this one another day. Mm, 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 mm. We need to quickly get to the club. Mm? That local. Mm -hmm. Let's get to the club. Ah, this this girl talking to you about. <laughs> I don't want to know the girl you have. The big lady. You can never have any girl that will fit this shape. You can never. is truly a Nigerian. We have plenty names. My name is Bridget Abiodun Gozi. Right. Oh, Gloria uh -huh. Cynthia. So I can be Gloria Cynthia, Zita. Right. Yes. <laughs> they are all my names. Right. Are you, are you, are you kidding? Are you kidding? Are you kidding? I'm actually serious. I have like five names. Okay. Uh, she's really <laughs> experienced in, you know, that. <laughs> In that <laughs> line, <I'm laughs> it's like she's really experienced at that. So she this is a sellout. Nah, no, no, I'm just kidding. But I that's know, an interesting joking. one. Thank you, thank you. It's lovely. Very, very, it's lovely. Interesting. Now, um, I want to, I want to touch on. Um, you, you spoke about how we need to 
go to several parts of Africa. Yeah. Yeah, um, sure. We yeah. need to explore these places in Africa. It's not every time we go back. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. don't turn up to second panel. I'm telling you. <laughs> All right. Um, you actually schooled in Ghana. Yes, I did. All right. Um, and uh, from our previous conversation, you mentioned something about, uh, you know, exp uh, it exposed you to different nationalities and, you know, mm. exactly. talk, to, talk to us about that. Okay. So um, it was my mom. All credit to her. May I say <coughs> rest in peace. Yeah. She actually um, ensured that I left Nigeria to school in Ghana. Mm. And so while I was in Ghana, I saw in my class, I had people from India, I had people from Tanzania, I had people from Sierra Leone. Ghana actually accommodates a lot of people. Mm. Yeah. Yes. And I feel like that's why Twitter went there anyway. The, you know, to set up headquarters. <laughs> you get. So basically, mingling with all these people made me see, just like the last guest said, that traveling is life. You get to meet people. You get to understand how, you know, things are done. Don't, don't be a local champion. Be more don't exposed. stay within your comfort zone. Mm. Be in any gathering and be able to speak because you are exposed to, you know, different cultures. Different cultures and how, how do you how do you plan to how do you plan to uh, inculcate uh, this knowledge of different places and seeing different things with entertainment in tourism? Because it's, yeah. it's it looks like a huge process and it looks like you know going through so much stuff. Yeah. Tapping. Okay, okay. So um, lately, I was asking a guy that an artist I, I sat with yesterday. I notice everybody is saying or do or do or do or do you or do whatever yeah. their song. It is Ghanaian. Although it's a Ghanaian language. It's Ghanaian, yeah. Mm. You understand? You get so that alone is what I'm talking about. You get picking, picking our different languages, picking our different costumes, picking our different delicacies, just like he said. You understand? And making sure that I mean, you try this out, you try that out, you try this out. I mean, that's part of that's having part the of knowledge of everything. Yes, it's knowledge of everything helps. Helps, but in, in bringing it still into tourism, how well is the entertainment part of tourism? How how broad is it? Is it even a a space that is well tapped, or is there still yet to do more? Yeah, well, in Nigeria we're tapping it, but, but not not enough. That's why I'm, you know, doing this. Okay, so the thing is, um, I'm focusing more on Nigeria right now. Truly, this is why. Um, they say if you want to do anything, start from your home and then yeah, move forward. Definitely. Yes. So I spoke with the uh, management of, I don't know if you've ever heard of Jubilee Charlotte in Ekwe. Mm. Please go and visit that place if you haven't. You mm. get, it's a superb place to visit. You have, <laughs> let, let me just leave it at that. Go Google J Jubilee Charlotte Ekwe. So I'm speaking with mm. them to see how we can have that space and bring couples. Now I'm looking at even tapping into, okay, guys get too busy yeah. to take their wives out. They are tired looking for money and blah, blah. Okay, you know what, guys? Take out a weekend and spend with your spouse at Jubilee Challenge. Now we're bringing DJs. That's where entertainment uh, comes in. Yeah. Mm. Uh -huh. We are bringing um, the caterers. We are so the DJs, are they going to be from different parts of... Thank um, you, different parts of the of states. The states. Yeah. Okay, so, um, okay, so that's just one event. Mm -hmm that you're mentioning yeah. now, getting people to take their spouses somewhere. Yeah. But I'm talking about it in a larger picture. Like, people go on tours every other time. Exactly. And all we do is um, we just see the space. There's no much entertainment being planned alongside these tours that we do. Even when you're saying, oh, tour the entire Nigeria. Mm -hmm. There are no plans for entertainment within that space. So what do you think that even agencies or brands that all claim that, oh, I'm a, I'm a travel consultant can can do to effect this? Okay, so um, the, 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 the question is kind of so intertwined. intertwined uh, yeah. yeah, people go on tours. Yes. But there's not much entertainment involved in all of this. In, all we do in is entertainment, we just learn, what do you mean? It's more of a learning process and exploring in things as individuals. Yeah. But as a collective, because they are always going in groups, how can these tour, um, those planners or tra travel planners or whatever, touring agencies, inculcate entertainment amidst tourism, especially when they're going to these different places. Because okay, so most times people talk about money. Even when you talk about bringing this one from here, from here, from here, it still boils down to money. Um, well, I'm not looking. Well, everybody wants to make money from all Definitely. these projects. Yeah. But then again, like I said, if you're bringing people with, uh, from different countries, from different states, they are bringing the vibe from their side. Yeah. Okay, so there was something I attended in New York called Afropolitan Cities, mm. where everybody comes from different country and every once a month we all just come dance to 
music from Nigeria, dance to music from um, Kenya, dance to music from South Africa, and there's this um, well, award. Where does, it, where does that hold? In New York, actually. In New York? Yes. Okay, so that's extra entertainment and tourism. Ex of course. But of is, course. It, is it something you're open to getting people to be a part of? Oh, yes. I mean, yeah. I, you can never do entertainment on your own. You need people to come together to put um, hands on them. Do, do you feel like, do you feel like um, uh, delving into entertainment and tourism is uh, going to bring, um, I mean, we're, we're undergoing Afrobeat wave internationally at the point, and it keeps spreading like wildfire. Mm -hmm. uh, do you feel entertainment and tourism would help um, uh, you know, shed more light and you know, more focus on the genre of music itself and Nigerian and African artists. Oh yes, it would definitely shed. As a matter of fact, right now I think Afrobeat is Afrobeat is Africa, yeah. Yeah. and we're selling real good. So what we need to just do is see how we can penetrate. You understand? Other countries come together as one as Africa, Africa, and then sell Africa out. That's mm. that's the that's my focus. I My focus is Africa from Nigeria, then to the I world. I think the music, yeah. music space has even done that. They are really trying to pull in yes. African artists. Uh, if you look at some other events, Africa yes. and mm. all of that. But I mean, uh, it's great having you on the show. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much, much for coming. Thank I appreciate you so much. it. Before we start, you know today is Be a Kid Again Day. Uh -huh. Don't laugh. So, what childhood memory do you think you want to express here on the show? Are you going to do it? So please, we don't have time. We are waiting for you. Are you guys putting me on the spot? Child so memory. It's be a kid day. So be a you kid. Know. Oh, gosh. Mm. Now you guys are putting me on the spot. We can play Tinko together. I'll also. tell you. Tinko, Tinko. Do you remember Oh, my plates? God. Do I remember that thing? Oh, yeah. Ah. Oh, is that what people like? Yes, now. Tinko, 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 Tinko. Ah, you never got to do it. Jesus. Tinko, 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 Tinko. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus. Hey. <laughs> it looks like I'm not touched with my childhood memory anyway. See, okay? <laughs> See, this is what should keep you alive. Oh, oh my right? goodness. Oh, God, oh, God. Oh God. Uh, all right, nice so let's one, talk guys. about briefly your curator life. Oh, okay. So I'm um, so many things in one, actually. I think mm. that's what it's about, you know. Yes, definitely. Uh -huh. So I studied theater at University of Lagos, but I got closer to the visual student. Mm. Oh, okay. So I was just, you know, seeing them paint. We're talking about different artifacts and all that. I never knew I was going to get a job with the National Museum. Oh. So in 2012, I got a job as a curator with the National Museum. Now, as a curator, um, we're custodians of, you know, our culture, our tradition, and the history. Ancient mm. artifacts. And yes. Uh, so it's been happening. I mean, I've been there for 12 years. I'm sure you ages. learned a lot that you never thought uh, you would. That's, that's another thing that pushed me to saying, you know, why don't you also do tourism? I didn't mention that earlier mm -hmm. also. I mean, I, we're going to be ex exhibiting artifacts from different countries oh, wow. everywhere we go to. You yeah. get to. Uh -huh. before, before we round mm -hmm. up, um, mm -hmm. fresh information. I uh, spoke about um, uh, 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 Lai Mohammed. That's our, yes, you know, yes. uh, yeah, basically uh, having conversations with Germany, yes. making an announcement about how they're supposed mm. to return certain artifacts that were stolen yes, yeah. in Nigeria, Nigeria a while back. How does that make you feel? Because uh, there's a lot of them. I forgot to the, the exact figure, but mm -hmm. it's a lot of them that, you know, I, right. I don't know if they've agreed that they're going to return it, but so how, how does that make you feel in yeah. being in that particular space in the industry? Mm. <laughs> there's no other joy than knowing that your artifacts can come back home. Mm. Now, the question is if they're actually sending back the original artifacts. Mm. Oh, but that's yeah. where we now come in. You understand? You can oh, yeah, there's yeah. something Verify. called carbon dating. Mm. Oh, that they with check. a particular chemical, we can tell how long Old that it artifact yes, has been oh, on Okay, there. that's okay. impressive. All Love right, it. thank mm. you so much for coming. Yeah. I appreciate your knowledge that you shared. Uh, you still did not do any childhood thing. You failed in that. Zero <laughs> by ten. Zero with ear and nose. After round one. And After round one. <laughs> After round one. <laughs> Original After round one. While they yeah. do that, yeah. let's yeah. have a word for the day. <laughs> Come off the screen. <laughs>